Hey everybody, welcome to this video. We are going to jump into Tableau Server's REST API and specifically the Git schedule endpoint. Uh, I don't think there's any mysteries here. If you're trying to get information about a schedule, then this is the endpoint for you. Uh, just a quick note that according to the REST API reference written by Tableau, which we're looking at right now, only Tableau server admins or site admins can query a schedule. So keep that in mind if you are trying to use this endpoint. All right, so since there's no mysteries here, we know exactly what this thing is uh, supposed to do for us, gives us information about a schedule. Let's hop into some code. Uh, so right now we're in a Jupyter notebook. We are going to be using Python uh, to communicate with the REST API and uh, we are using the Tableau API lib library as the uh, medium between us and Tableau server. So we are going to import Tableau server connection, which is going to allow us to communicate with the server. And then we are going to also import some querying functionality so that we can get a list of some schedules that exist on the server and cherry pick out one from that bunch and say, I want details about this schedule. All right, so down here we are setting up our configuration. Uh, we can't connect to Tableau server unless we are explaining some details like this is the server I wanna connect to, uh, here are my credentials to get into that server, and then even some information about which site in that server environment are you connecting to. Uh, this is gonna look the same whether you're in Tableau server or Tableau online. And if you wanna know more about logging into um, Tableau server and these, these uh, kind of getting started details, check out the getting started video in the link of the video description you're watching right now. Okay, so we have some configuration um, configured. Now we need to establish this connection. So we say that our connection is going to be this Tableau server connection where the configuration details uh, in the environment, here we can see my env, as we defined it up here. Uh, this is going to establish that connection to the server that our configuration describes. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. And we can sign in to our server. If you get the 200 response code, that means you're in. And now I'm just going to grab some, uh, some random schedules on my server and choose one of these. In this case, I've chosen DevX Test Weekly, which is a schedule that exists in my environment. I've chosen this one to be the guinea pig for this, uh, this tutorial. And so we're going to take that ID and just reference it down here. So my schedule ID is this value that we copied from up here. And let's make sure we run that. And now we get to the actual example at hand getting details about that schedule, which is as easy as saying, I would like to use this method, get schedule, which mirrors the name of the endpoint in the REST API reference. And then we're just going to pass in the information of what that schedule ID is. So you do need to know the schedule ID if you want to get details about that schedule. And if you have that piece of information, then everything's gonna to come together for you. So if we go ahead and rerun this, we can see that if we print, print the uh, response, a successful response is uh, status code 200, and then you can get the JSON details inside that response. So this is what would be giving us all of the details about the schedule. So that's really it. Uh, we'll just keep this video short and sweet. Hope this helps some people out there and see you in future videos.